Hello there. Hello. You brought some items in for me. I have, you? yes. I'd like to see what you can offer me for all of these. Right, and this is all yours, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they're all to do with opticians. Right. So I can explain what's what. Okay. Did you used to work in a practice? I still do. Right, so you probably know what a lot of this stuff is. Yes. And related to. Is there anything that you're a little bit the, sure about? The only thing I'm not really sure about, there's that one. Right. All right, because that's the optometrist. Yeah. And this fault lens on a power. Right. Apart from that, I'm not really... Let's have a little I know most things. So it says here it's a four mirror gonioscope. And you're right, it is used for eyes. It's not a Volk lens. Now this is actually used for visualising the anterior chamber. The right. front part of the eye essentially, front of yeah. the iris and behind the corner. You can visualise the angle. If you feel anybody may be at risk of angle closure. Or for just naturally assessing the angles. So you'd numb the eye with the drops. You'd pop some cupping fluid on and this would rest against the eye. Right. And the professional can look through. Yep. So I've obviously got to have a look at this because these can be quite expensive. It's a nice metal handle. It's well mated. And there's no signs of any scratches on the lens or anything like that either, is there? No, no, it looks like that's something I've investigated as well. Mm -hmm. This would be a good idea to uh, use that on a patient. It's a nice item there and a good case. So you've got the foam inlay there. Yep. The other item was this, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. So these are fixation disparity visors. So when you've checked a prescription, whether it's distance or near, and then you want to check the eye muscles afterwards, whether the say a ESO or exophoria, or even suppression, you can use these to measure that by just placing them over the trial frame with the prescription in place and then just use the test to align the bars. Do that horizontally and vertically as well. Let's have a little look at this. There's just a slight defect there, but that obviously that wouldn't or shouldn't affect the performance of the test. There's no cracks or defects on the, uh, the visors there. So that's for measuring fixation disparity. Right. Uh, these are called television glasses. Mm -hmm. The idea of these, you'd put them on and you've got the little discs on the side. You adjust the gap and the gap will then set it at the right distance. So this might be used by people who have got macular degeneration, for example. So just checking that they work. So you alter the distance between the two lenses. Yeah, and if you tried them on, mm. I've, I've already asked them to set up a chart behind me. Right. So that you can try them on and just see how it works. Okay. You have come prepared today, haven't you? Yeah, they look a good piece. Obviously, I'll have a look at the condition and test them out. They can be very useful for those with impaired vision. Great for the telex. I think it magnifies the image, doesn't it? It does, yes. Makes things appear closer and bigger. Although if you've got the focus set in the wrong position, it'll make everything very blurred. Well, let's just try them on and give it a go. So if I do it monocularly, just through one eye. So you're right, I can see the chart there. To that one. It is. Of course, they are designed to be used binocularly. 
Yeah. Yeah, so I do have a, a magnified view of the distance there on the chart. I can even see the bottom row, whereas without. I can still see without, but it's bigger and closer. Okay, so I do like those. Fantastic if you can't usually see the teletext or the writing at the bottom of the screen. I was going to say, do people still use teletext these days? <laughs> now, are these prism glasses? I think I've seen these They before. are, yes. And although they don't really magnify anything, mm -hmm. if somebody, a good example is somebody who's bedridden, mm -hmm. they can't sit up, so they would put the glasses on mm -hmm. and they can hold the reading material across their chest. They're lying down. They haven't got to try and lift their head. That will point it directly at what they really want to So write. it's a convenience thing, particularly if they're, say, arthritic or anything like that. So obviously the prisms are going to bend the light. Okay, so I see what you mean there. Yeah, so instead of when when you put them on, you're looking at me, but you can't see me now. Absolutely. So the You light. can see that chart on the table. Okay, let's just test them out. I mean, I've got a nice clear image. I don't wear correction. Let's just see how these before. Okay, so there's no prescription, they're just prisms, aren't That's they? That's right. Right, so it's just to help with the position of things. Right, so they all seem to work nicely. Yeah. Have these ever been adjusted on the sides? No. Okay, so they're a set. Length. They've been length. set on purpose in a position that will hook behind the ears. All right. And because the patient won't be moving, mm. they don't need to be. They're more of a wrap around, and they won't move. It's only if somebody was to lift their head and move their head around a lot, mm. which they wouldn't have them glasses for. That I mean, the only slight issue is the weight of them. They're not excessively heavy, but they are weightier than. Spectacles, aren't they? Well, that's because you've got the glass prisms in there. Mm, so that, that could be an issue for some people. But remembering, if they're lying down, mm. it's actually going to be pushing towards the head, not, yeah. not anywhere else. All right. Let's have a little look at the house then. I had a nice clear image there. Something else that you'll notice, it's got like a little window on the side instead That's of being just solid. Light through. Yeah, because obviously you need a bit of extra light. And you obviously recommend extra lighting for those with, yeah. say, macular degeneration who are struggling to read. Yeah. Okay. So those are detachable as well, those little. Yeah. You can take them on and off. Well, sometimes they need a yellow window instead of a clear. Yeah, that's a good design feature, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they're in very good condition. All right, I see you've got some nice trial frames here. Yes, they're called fixed bridge trial frames. Mm -hmm. They start off, well, there's 10 um, different PD measurements on there. They go up to a 70 PD. Mm. Absolutely perfect for kids where you can't get an adjustment on the bridge so easily. Yeah, so that's obviously 60 millimetres, I'd assume. Yeah. So you'd measure the PD beforehand. Is this the complete set? It is, yes. All right. And nice bright colours for the kids to enjoy. I was just about to say, they, they can pick the favourite colour, can't they, if you have it in their measurement? Yeah. So it go all the way up to a 70 PD? Yeah. It's quite big for a child, isn't it? But of course, sometimes it could be somebody with special needs as well. Mm. Okay, so that twists nicely there. I mean, have you used many of these? or have you been in I've used a few. But I've had no call to use all of them because we tend to use the traditional style trial frames right. more than these. Mm. I've got a 56 one there. That's for a very small PD, isn't it? That's for your really little people. Just checking that the 
It's going to be twisted nice and smooth there. Seems nice. And so we have this peach. Nice peach colour. I assume these are quite sturdy and you've had no issues with them. No problems with them whatsoever. Coming apart. All right. That one side, oh there we go. I'll take a little bit of manual movement there. All right, just have a look at one more. Let's complete the set with the green. Oh, that's even smaller, that's a 52. Yep, that one is the smallest one. All right, so 52 to 70. Yeah, so if you count them up, you'll notice that's 10 trial frames. Mm -hmm. Let's just see if I've got a lens here. Let's have to see if the lens is fit. This is a full aperture lens. It goes in quite nicely, doesn't it? It's nice and smooth, isn't it? Yeah. And you have some nice sounds as well. And then you have your slot at the back when you're doing your spherical element. Yeah, it's a bit of a tight fit, but you want tight more than loose, don't you? It's yep. actually going to stay there if, say, the child takes the frame off or or moves the head suddenly. Let's just try the 70. I'm surprised it goes this high. So you can use this on adults as well, really, can't you? You can, yes. Say so those with special needs. Uh, have different contours or something below or over average. That's a nice set there. Obviously you've got the box as well. Yeah. Marvellous. I'm liking what you've got so far. What's this over here? Right, these are special files for repairing spectacle frames. Right. They're all diamond precision files. Okay. You notice how small they are because because it's very small works mm. required on files on um, spectacles. How long have you had these for? Um, quite a while, but actually this set has never been used. All oh, right, so it's essentially it's a new a, set. It's a brand new set. Right. Just review the area where we get the friction and you can obviously see that they're in pristine condition. Good. You'll also notice that there's all different angles and shapes because it's not always one way of filing required. It's, it's quite strange to people who don't know that you actually do have to file glasses, don't you? Yeah. And people wouldn't know how the two would go together, but how would that go together? A good example for one is if... For example, if I have this, then this was my glasses. As I put this on, now that's a little bit tight across here. Mm. So one of the examples is I could file these joints here, and that would make the side open up wider. And what about with, say, normal glasses? Yeah, well, that's it? talking with normal glasses. I was pretending that was my normal glasses. Because I've seen before wearing children's glasses, say, if they're a bit big on the side. They take the tips off, don't they? Well, with a plastic, this one is a plastic side. If this was too long, mm -hmm. I could still cut that. So let's just say I needed to cut 15 millimetres off. Now, that would be quite rough and quite unsightly so I would then file that round to get the right nice shape again right and make it look like it's always been part of it excellent I think they go beautifully in an optical practice one who was just setting up maybe so I think I'd like the look of this it's a nice feel to it. Obviously in good condition. Marvellous. Right. One more item over here, I believe. Yes. Something that 
quite a lot of people would go out and purchase, not necessarily from an optician's, mm -hmm. um, but look how nice and neat that folds up. Mm -hmm. Let people have a surprise when you open the box. I'm going to say, there is a clue on the front, it says plus 1.50. Yeah. Oh, wow. Don't know how you've managed to get glasses in there, but those look fabulous. They're amazing, aren't they? Mm. I mean, this isn't something that you'd typically have dispensed at a, a practice, is it? No, but you could go to a lot of pharmacies and places like that. Mm. And they're a bit better quality than if you went into your Poundland store. Right. But um, a pharmacy would sell something like this as a good quality item. Mm. I like how the sides are adjustable as well there. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why it folds in so well. Mm. So these are essentially plus 150 reading yeah. glasses to get you by in an emergency if you've not got your... Yeah, or if you needed a pair of glasses to wear over contact lenses for reading. It's a good idea, isn't it? Over glasses. doesn't look as though they're designed to have pads, are they? They're just... No, but it, actually, if you try it on, you'll find that's actually quite comfortable on your nose because of the design. as well just check the condition i assume you couldn't have these glazed at an optician's could you say so you have to look after the that's right the they lenses, don't have it? a glazing screw anywhere no now ce mark is there oh there is excellent although ce markings will soon be null and void again won't they in the uk it says the power there and the model number. So I'm guessing that comes in maybe a, a range of different colours. You would get styles. a set. They, um, this particular range comes, you know, 50 diopters from 150 up to plus three. All right. That's very fancy. That's nice to fit inside the jacket pocket and obviously because it's solid it protects the frame and lenses yeah excellent that's a marvelous piece as well i quite like everything you've brought in today great right should we make an offer then for everything what have yes. you got in mind um i'll let you Throw in an offer first. You're going to throw it back to me, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Okay. 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 Sixty. Eighty. Hundred. Twenty. Forty. I'm going to offer you hundred and sixty pounds there. Well, that's quite close. You couldn't throw one more in, could you? I was going to say, have I gone too high? Not Drop quite. Take one away. <laughs> Not quite. Just add one more will be plenty. One more. I'll be happy with that. All right. Yeah. You're looking for one out here, are you? Yes. Okay. Do we have a deal? Yes. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your products.